In this video, we'll talk about the highly anticipated Predator prequels star of the show, Amber Midthunder, and her journey into the big screen. Well, we were pretty much done with the Predator franchise after that 2018 sequel. There was simply no common sense left in the movies. But then, Prey happened, and everything changed. That's all thanks to good writing and a talented cast. First up, Predator prequel Prey star Amber Midthunder's rich cultural background. Amber Midthunder started out as a child performer, and unlike most child stars who can't bear the burden of their fame, Amber came out shining on the other side. Amber's choice of movies and television shows largely reflect her Native American culture and how she tries to channel her background through her characters. The Prey star was born in the Navajo Reservation in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She's part of the Fort Peck Sioux tribe, which made her more than capable of playing the part of Naru in the fifth Predator installment. Amber has a very rich cultural background as she has Thai Chinese ancestors from her mother's side. You may be wondering that the name Midthunder sounds awfully familiar, and that's true, because Amber is actor David Midthunder's daughter, who has starred in blockbuster shows and movies like Westworld, Longmire, and so on. Amber's parents met when they were working on a movie, so it was pretty easy for her to get the taste of Hollywood in her own way. Amber has been quite vocal about Native American representation in movies and said that they are often downplayed to this violent savage caricature or a hyper-spiritualized figure. It was Mr. Midthunder who taught Amber the value of where she came from, and it was important for them that she did justice to their heritage when Amber got the chance. And boy, she did. Amber looks absolutely perfect in her role in Prey, and no one could have done justice to the indigenous in the movie better than Amber. She says that misrepresentation has its effects as you hardly see anyone who neither looks like you nor represents you properly. Next up, when did Amber Midthunder enter the Hollywood scene? Amber had parents who belonged to the world of movies. Her father is a veteran actor, while her mother is now a casting director who runs her own firm. So Amber got to witness the ultimate glamour from quite a young age. She made her debut at only age 14 years old and featured in a small role in The Homecoming of Jimmy White Cloud. The young actress went on to take on minor roles in movies like Not Forgotten, Swing Vote, and Sunshine Cleaning. Coming from such a rich background in cinema, it was impressive of her not to succumb to the nepotism tactic. Midthunder worked her way through the ranks, and after a hiatus, she came back to appear on a few TV shows, but soon grabbed the role of Lana Cleary in Banshee. Amber never stopped pushing herself and working small roles to gain experience. She landed small roles in famous shows like The Misadventure of Psych and Me and The Originals, and was finally pulled in as a series regular on Legion in 2016. Amber Midthunder was particularly praised for her role as Rosalinda Artecho in Roswell, New Mexico, but she didn't stop there. She landed some fine roles and appeared alongside renowned actors like Liam Neeson in The Ice Road, Chris Pine and Jeff Bridges in Hell or High Water, and Taylor Gray in The Wheel. But no matter what she starred in or will, Amber will always be remembered for her iconic role in Prey. The audience was over the moon as she relentlessly slays an alien with dreadlocks and gadgets that can kill on sight. She did all that with the help of a dog and some common sense. Her portrayal of Naru has been monumental in her career and will forever open her way to more Predator movies. Coming up, Prey star talks about landing her role in a unique way. In all truth, no one had any expectations of Hulu's take on the famous Predator franchise. But when the movie premiered, people couldn't help but label it as the best entry to the franchise since the original. The movie features Legion actress Amber Midthunder, who was made to play Naru. Talking about her casting process for the movie, Amber revealed that she had a unique experience and auditioned both in English and Comanche. The movie was originally intended to be shot in Comanche, but ended up in English. Still, it became the first film to be released in Comanche as well, and received a native dub upon release on Hulu. Most of the Prey cast are indigenous, which is something very appreciable. It's always downplaying the movie when it's whitewashed for no reason. Prey takes place in the 1700s, in which a Comanche tribe faces a threat from far away. Amber Midthunder talked about how she had to prepare for the role and went through boot camp and even weapons training before filming. 
She mentioned that she was taken aback by how physically demanding the movie was. Amber filmed in an interview that she and actor Dakota Beavers had to go through four weeks of boot camp, which included training with Comanche-style tomahawks, archery, and spears. Despite being a prequel, it's the highest rated movie in the franchise. Well, anything's better than that 2018 Predator. Following up, Amber Midthunder being vocal about indigenous representation in Prey. What can an actor from a different cultural background want? An accurate representation of how they are instead of being stereotyped. Predator prequel Prey star Amber Midthunder, who also happens to be a Native American, has praised the movie's take on indigenous representation. Asians, African Americans, and people who aren't white have long been downplayed in the filming industry. Only limited to a cliched role where there's always a black friend to a white lead, or an Asian being part of the loser group has left a bad taste in the viewer's mouths. The same can be said for Native American representation, and Amber has been vocal about it since the beginning. Prey director Dan Trachenberg paid special attention to the movie's casting and wanted to cast indigenous actors for the film's authenticity. Prey takes place 300 years before the events of the original movie, and in this installment, there's only an axe and a bow and arrow against the notorious alien apex predator. Midthunder also expressed her satisfaction with how the film represented indigenous people and was happy, and they were portrayed in a far more positive light than usual. Amber explained that she was happy and they were shown as one-dimensional characters in the movie. The Native Americans in the movie had a lot of character and personality with relationships and intellect. For a Native girl to take on a fully armed alien with her brain and muscle is something we often don't see in these kinds of movies. It's almost one of its kind now. Up next, Prey star Amber Midthunder claps back as haters for calling her movie woke. Well, let's just put it out there. People are never happy. They aren't happy with an African-American aerial the rings of power, and they certainly are giving Rhaenyra a lot of hate for fooling around. When Prey hit the TV screens, no one could have imagined that they'd taken this kind of turn in the Predator franchise. The movie was entirely exceptional, from the concept to the casting and even the action sequences. But then, why are some critics and haters calling it woke? What does that even have to do with the movie? Does a native girl from a hundred years ago fighting an alien don't sit well with the naysayers? Outrageous. The Prey actress feels the same as she says that these haters are coming from a place of ignorance. Amber thinks the prequel has been nothing but groundbreaking for indigenous representation, and the haters just don't know what they're talking about. Amber is also a member of the Fort Peck Assiniboine and Sioux tribe so she knows what she's talking about, so back off, trolls. Well, the young actress knows how to handle internet trolls better than most as she declared useless comments just noise, and even labeled these people as staying out of the loop when it comes to Native American history and culture. Way to go, girl. And finally, Amber Midthunder talks about future projects as a potential Prey sequel. A Prey sequel? Yes, please. The huge success of the Predator franchise prequel has left people wanting more. They're wondering if Prey would breathe new life into the franchise and take it in a whole new direction. We mean, yes, we were tired of seeing macho men with machine guns taking out these enormous beasts. Of course, Amber Midthunder was asked the question, but she said that she doesn't know what the plans are for the future of the franchise. She would be happy to go with the flow with whatever decision regarding the next movie would be made. Amber mentioned that a lot of time and effort went into making Prey, so it would be difficult reinventing something as good as this, and we kind of agree. Hollywood has a knack for stretching something so good so thin that it simply becomes a drag. We'll have to wait and see if 20th Century Studios has some plans for that. That's a wrap for this video. Would you want to see a Prey sequel? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.